Welcome, 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 boils and ghouls. We're going to do something a little crazy today. <sighs> I've been planning this for a little bit. I've been putting it off for a little bit. I'm going to be trying three different Mountain Dew flavors, all limited edition here in the U.S. for 2021. So we have at the very tippy top there, we have Mountain Dew Voodoo 3. That is the third year, and technically it's the fifth year of Halloween flavors because they had Pitch Black 1 and Pitch Black 2, uh, which I think were just great. Boring. I have tasted this one. I'm going to tell you that now. It is, from what Mountain Dew says it is, it is a fruit gummy flavor. Yeah, sure. I don't know how that's Halloween, but okay their first voodoo flavor was um candy corn which was awesome their second one i can't remember actually that one was really awesome too so this third one here i'm gonna taste it live for you and it's gonna be okay um i haven't tried the other <clears throat> mountain dew thrashed apple so i didn't show the voodoo i got the voodoo i got the thrashed apple here which i haven't tried this is a fall flavor uh, exclusive for this year only uh, it says it's a crisp apple flavor. Um, and then I have ginger snap, gingerbread snapped, which is a Christmas flavor for December, limited edition again for 2021. Um, I'm going to guess it says with a blast of artificial gingerbread flavoring. So here's the thing. I'm going to try each of these twice. Why am I doing this? I don't know, but I have it. I bought it quite some time ago. It's actually really good. I, you can't tell I've used somewhat of it. Um, I just put little dabs here and there in things, and it really flavored things wonderfully. Um, yeah, really good. Really, really good. I can't complain. So it is extremely hot, even at those temperature, even at those uh, things. I'm going to do it straight. Just a little... I'm going to plan this out today. Uh, do I have something? It's like, what do I have? I guess I can put it on a little piece of paper. and toss the piece of paper. And then... Um, test the flavors afterwards, right? <clears throat> well, so let's jump into this. First off, I guess I should kind of tell you about me with both of these things. A, I'm not a big Mountain Dew fan. <clears throat> never was, never have been. The only Mountain Dew that I've really loved is Voltage. Um, Voltage is wonderful. And then, of course, the Voodoo one was easily my favorite Mountain Dew flavor. Candy corn, anything? Yes, please. Um... Outside of that, I'm a cola person. However, in the recent year and a half, two years, actually, I've actually significantly, actually, third, actually, uh, fourth. <laughs> I just had to do that because I realized I was repeating myself and saying actually. Um, <laughs> too much. So... I've been cutting back on soda significantly. In fact, I don't even drink one a week anymore. Um, I drink maybe one can every two weeks, three weeks, month. Um, I do drink vitamin water, uh, sugar-free, surprisingly enough, uh, which is delicious. Definitely, definitely jump on that. Um, so sodas have increased in sweetness for me and I've started to realize how much the sweetness it is even in these cans they are ridiculous um, they're 160 yeah, 160 calories each right and for your sugars I think they're all exactly the same they are they are 87 percent of your daily needed sugars to drink 10 sodas a day 10 cans 10 no 10 I could drink a 2 liter in a day 
I don't even want to look at how much sugar is in a two liter now. It's insane to me. But we're just going to take sips and hopefully not chug them due to this. This one we'll do after the first round of trying them all and rating them basically. Um, so let's just jump into this. Mountain Dew Voodoo. Do the do with the voodoo. All right, so let's jump into this. All right, cool. Voodoo three. Okay, it is a little bit better than I remember it. It is. It's fruit gummy. That is absolutely one hundred and ten percent. It's like if you grabbed all the fruit gummies in the bag, which I do because I'm huge, and I just throw them all in my mouth. It's exactly what this is. It's not bad. If you're into fruit gummies, it's, if you're like into gummies in general, I think you dig it. I don't think you can get it anymore, so have fun. <clears throat> I do like that one. That one is very good. Now, now this one does say, I will have to say, this is a limited edition 2021. Um, and this is, of course, the mystery flavor that they do every year. However, the thrashed apple, as you can see on the logos on the screen also, the thrashed apple in the gingerbread snap don't have that. So I am very curious if these will be back year after year or if they are going to be 2021 exclusives and they might bring other flavors back. I do got to say, I love the art on the thrashed apple. This one looks so awesome. Like that's, that's killer art right there. So I can't complain. Um, let's jump into it though. Thrashed apple. Yeah, that is, that's just smelling it. It's very apple. I don't smell. Oh, wow. It smells like fruit gummies. It almost smells like liquid fruit. I don't know how you could explain that, but like liquid fruit gummies. I want to check the art out really close on this one either. So let's check the art out because this one, well, the art is the same year after year. It just changes in color and then the hand changes. But the art's still really cool. I wish I could give you a better focus, but uh, Google. You can Google the cans. <clears throat> um, so let's try Thrashed Apple. Ooh. 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 As a crisp apple, like that is exactly what I would describe that as. It's like biting into a crisp apple that's lightly carbonated. That is actually good. I like that better than the Voodoo this year. The Voodoo is good. It tastes like um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like how the apple is so. It is. It's so crisp in the sink. By the way, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Sorry, my eye is just ridiculously itchy today. I have allergies like a madman, so. Forgive me. Oh, God. I'm not going anywhere today. Uh, Alright, so third one on our thing is gingerbread snapped. Now. I've got to say, I'm not the biggest fan of gingerbread. Um, and funny enough, apples, I am slightly allergic to the skin. So apples, I love the taste, but they are kind of like, it makes me a little nervous. That's exactly what I want. So that's kind of like, I'm feeling like the thrashed apple is going to win, but maybe gingerbread will change my mind. I'm not a big fan of gingerbread. I'll eat it if it's there, especially if it's frosted. Yes. Um, and I'm not a big fan of ginger either. So the art one, the art on this is actually really cool too. 
killer gingerbread that are throwing snowballs at each other. That is a nice one. That's just, hi, hi, minding his own business. Maybe he caught one. He like caught it from them, and now he's gonna throw it back at him. That's what I'm gonna... I also like the rim. The rim looks real cool. It's like gingerbread frosted. Almost like a roof. Oh, that's ginger. Oh, yeah, that's ginger. Who? It smells like a ginger beer. Okay. That does not make me all that thrilled about this. If you're into ginger and you're a gingerbread friend, good on you. Good on you. Bad. Hmm. It's actually not bad at all. It's very light on the ginger, and you can kind of taste like, especially in the aftertaste, you can taste the spices of a gingerbread. Because it's not just ginger, there's gingerbread spice in there. There's other spices. <clears throat> Sometimes cinnamon. Maybe I taste a little bit of cloves. Mmm, very, very good. <sighs> Now's that time. We're going to double taste them all again. After tasting the last dab. Now you can get this on heatness.com, I believe. This is not a sponsored product promotion. Um, I just love hot ones, and I always wanted to try it, so, uh, for Christmas last year, or at the beginning of this year, whenever this was released, I bought it for myself, because I always wanted to try it, and I will say it's 100% worth it, do it for yourself, um, it's like the bomb, I don't want to try the bomb, alright, uh, so I do have to make sure not to get this on anything, Try to keep the bottle clean. So to read off the instruction or the, the ingredients, <clears throat> let's read it. A heat level, 10 out of 10. If you don't know what this is, first off, let's say if you don't know what this is, this is made with debatably the hottest pepper in the world. Um, actually, the two hottest peppers in the world crossbred to make a special hot herb pepper just for this. This is the only way you can get this pepper. I'm already having hiccups and burping. It's gonna happen when this hits. So let's read it. The last dab of Apollo is the world's only hot sauce made with the Apollo pepper. The new hottest pepper from the Guinness World Record holder. From the Guinness World Record holding chili breeder, smoking Ed Curry. The Apollo pepper channels the sun's energy to bring new levels of flavor and heat to the world of super hots. Live the Hot Ones tradition. So if you haven't checked that out, Hot Ones is a television show or a YouTube series that is on YouTube. Um, you can go check that out for free. It's usually once every few weeks and they take a few months break off per year to kind of to fix things, tweak things a little bit. I don't want to say fix things, but tweak things a little bit for the next season. Add some new spices. But they always have kind of the last thing is always the last dab. And this is kind of the newest, I think, this year, maybe last year. And like it said, this was a pepper clone specifically for this hot sauce. You can't buy that pepper. You can't go buy the Apollo pepper, I don't believe. Um, it is only for first we feast and only for this sauce. It is the world's hottest pepper, the heat level, the highest of the highest of the highest. Ingredients. The Apollo pepper, distilled vinegar, the Apollo pepper powder, the Apollo pepper distillant. That's it. Zero calories, zero all down the board, literally all zeros. About 30 servings per container, you're lying. You can easily stretch this out. I've had 30 servings of this, and that's all I've needed. 
<clears throat> today. I've never smelt it before. Oh my god. Ready for this? Oh no. As you can see, the tip is relatively covered. It could be worse. I don't want to die. Tastes wonderful immediately. Let the minute change over before I start drinking anything. Oh, my head's gone. My head's spinning. If you've ever been high, it's like being high without the fun part. There's a reason they work up to this sauce in the show. The other ones. Oh, fuck. The other ones kind of help. Oh. oh fuck Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my mouth hurts. Oh my teeth hurt. My gums hurt. I've never done that before. I regret this. Do I regret this? Yeah, I kind of regret this. Oh, my tongue hurts. Ah! Oh, it's on my lips. Ah! Oh, I have a cut on my lip. Oh, I have a cut on my lip. Oh, I have a cut on my lip. Ah! I should have done that before I took my 23 me test. I got all the saliva right out. Alright, the minute's turn. Alright, the minute's turn. Let's start tasting these again. Oh, fuck. Mountain Dew. Who do you think? It does not help. Immediately makes it worse. Oh, you do get the fruit flavor, though. It kind of goes, hey, it's here. And then, oh, it's not. Like it helps for a split second and it's like, oh, you tried to put me out. Oh, buddy. You tried to put me out. Oh, fuck. I'm moist. What the hell? What is this? I barely read. It's fresh up. I'm shaking. Oh, fuck. Fresh apple, which was my favorite one, doesn't help. Uh, actually, helps less. Uh, yeah, helps less. The voodoo helps more. Oh uh, yeah. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. The voodoo. The voodoo helps more. It definitely helps more. If I ever am on Hot Ones, Sean, you buy me a thing of Voodoo. Three. You know what? Let's do all of them. You buy all of them. We'll test all of them with the wings. Oh, fuck. I 
gingerbread. Gingerbread snapped. Oh, it's hot. It's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, fuck, it's hot. I'm like hot and cold. I'm uh, sweating. Like, wow, I just got the shivers taking that off, but. Oh, I'm cold. Uh, oh, my mouth is filled with saliva. Mm. I can breathe out of my nose. Oh, gingerbread. This isn't gonna help. This isn't gonna help. Actually, it helped. It helped a little bit. Uh, and then it didn't help. It's that. It's like. Uh, it's like hammering a nail. It was hammering a nail really fast, and then it took a big swing. It's like, I'll let you. Uh, no water. I don't know how water helps. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? It helps the most. And then it doesn't help at all. Oh, fuck. My tongue. Hotter than the sun? Yeah, you are. I regret this. It almost feels like it's wiping the sugars away, which is helping it. But then the saliva comes dripping down and fills my mouth again with death. I, I, uh, I have to say, taste wise, is incredible. Mm -hmm. It really does. And I will say, I'm not a green or a... I'm not a bell pepper person. I don't like them. They're disgusting to me. So kind of this year, I got into a more of a pepper kick after I tried this. Oh, there's a cut in the roof of my mouth. Ah, oh, that hurts. Holy hell. Oh. I was hitting the stomach. Uh, oh. That was a little bit. I was I put a little bit on the end. You guys suck. You're gonna call me wimpy ass. You didn't do a whole wing. You didn't do. Oh, it hurts. Ow! Oh. I feel it dripping down my esophagus. Oh, oh, I got... I got to have good tissues because I plant for a runny nose. <sighs> oh, fuck. <sighs> I can barely think. Like, yeah, the thrash was good. Uh, this was actually it, tasty. Ah, oh, caught on the roof of my mouth, man. Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck. It's very tasty. This is very, very tasty. Like, the taste is so good. The Apollo. 
It is. It's actually a very tasty thing. And then the heat hits. And you don't care about anything else. care about anything else. What the fuck am I about to do? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ah, why did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Why did I do that? the back of my throat. I wake up the one that helped the least. That helped. None of that helped. Oh, my tongue. Oh, it's in my hunger. It hurts. It hurts. Oh. I soaked it in the sauce and I held it in my mouth. Why? Fix it. There we go. There we go. Uh. 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 One last flavor testing. Voodoo three. There's fruit gummies. You go for a hot second. There's fruit fucking gummies. Oh, my tongue. Oh, fuck my tongue. Ah, there's an apple I can't have. It's spicy apple. I want to cut my tongue off. Ginger. <laughs> Gingerbread snapped. Uh, I can't taste anything. It's just sweet. It's just. Yeah. God, that hurts. It actually fucking hurts. Oh, fuck you, Sean Evans. Oh, we're awesome, but fuck you, man. And who are you, huh? Ed. Dude, I can barely read right now. <sighs> Smoking a creep. Fuck you, too, man. You're awesome. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, my intestines. Oh, my stomach. Oh, my stomach. Oh. Oh, I'm hot and cold. I'm hot and cold. It's like I'm really high. Uh, I have, but I'm not. Uh, but I'm like, I've got a cold. Like, the cold sweats, but sweaty. Mm -hmm. mm. It hurts to talk. Uh. 
I love it. Not Ash vs. the Evil Dead. USB chainsaw. Ah, that's what I want to do to it. Oh, that's what I want to do right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a boy tongue. Yeah. Oh, my nose. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't wash my hands. I don't. Oh, I'm gonna take a shower. Ah, they were trying to wash their mouth out with soap. Ah, did that help? Ah, I'm not even gonna try. That'd be horrible. Oh, that'd be horrible. Ah. 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 And then it comes back. <sighs> Why? Why? Why did I do this? So much. Mm. That actually hurts my tongue. And the more I drool, the more it hurts. And of course, I'm like salivating like a motherfucker. I have insane salivation glands. Like I can salivate on command. Seriously. This is just a waterfall in my mouth. I have to hold my tongue up so it doesn't go into the saliva. <sighs> like this is crazy. It makes water hurt if the saliva gets in too much. What do I do? Thrashed apple. Thrash Chapel is our winner. You've won this year's Mountain Dew competition. 2021. You get the incredible. Hot Ones. Last Dap Award. The Allen O'Lantern Award of 2021. For being the best Mountain Dew flavor, uh, Ginger Snap. You know, you win the the best flavor award. So that's the Allen O'Lantern with the flavor award. But for the Apollo, the last dab award, that one goes to Ginger Snapped. Right? Yeah, because that one actually, it's the ginger. Is there actually ginger in this? I very much doubt it. no ginger in this there's no ginger at all in this I don't know what has helped uh, so that wins the last dab or that last dab award <sighs> fuck the last dab honestly I'm gonna rate it right now hot sauces 10 out of 10 spiciness 100 out of 10 Tastiness? 100 out of 10. Seriously. 
This is so tasty. Uh, I may regret doing what I just did, and my tongue is like, fuck, it hurts. It's sl like I'm slowly getting over it, but it comes back in like microwaves. <sighs> I can also get a head pulse too every now and then. Kind of makes you forget what you're thinking. It's really tasty. It is so good. Um, I add it to just about everything I eat. Actually, last night, I added it. Actually, I added it to my turkey dinner. I added two drops into the gravy. Mix it around. Oh, yeah. That was incredible. It added this nice little spice and this nice little flavor, but not too much. And that's what you like. And I mean, while I do dig how hot this is and it's a fun party thing, at the same time, it's something I might continuously add on my shelf. Um, because I love the flavor that much. Yeah, seriously, I do. And while sometimes I might add a little too much, three drops, I've noticed, is too much. Um, when I mean drops, I mean drops. Very tiny droplets, not chunkies. There's a chunky... I mean, you do see, it's it's not all, it, it does have a chunk. So you want a little bit of chunk to your job, but not a big old chunk of chunk. You don't want to last dab that mofo. Okay. God, my nose is, ah, uh, oh, my tongue is starting to stop hurting. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to end this. I'm going to wash my hands. I might record something. I don't know, maybe we'll play grounded. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Should I try another little diplet and play Phasmo? <sighs> That'd be stupid. Alright. Out of 5,000 boils and ghouls, I will see you in the next one. Peace.